Hey y'all, I'm Allie and today we are going to be talking about the basics of livestock. There's lots of elements involved in the agricultural industry obviously, but I kind of wanted to start from the very bottom in hopes that maybe some people who are not super familiar with agriculture might be able to kind of get a good understanding of the basics so that when we go on to talk about bigger topics that they will not be completely lost. So we're going to start with that today and I hope you enjoy. <music> So like I mentioned in the intro, I want to start at the very bottom and give you the building blocks to be able to understand the content information that I'm going to be covering starting today. Okay, so let's start with cattle. And this is going to be kind of girl versus boy and what they're called. So a cow is a female that has already had a calf. If she has not yet had a calf, then she would be a heifer. Um, a boy is a bull. And then if he's a castrated male, then he is a steer. And then the babies of cows and bulls are calves. So one thing I want to point out too, there's lots of different breed characteristics within cattle. There's uh, dairy cattle and beef cattle, and that's a whole nother world of explanation that we'll get to later on. But a common misconception I think is, oh, that cow has horns, it's a bull. And that is not true. Um, there's lots of cows that have horns too. So uh, just because there's a certain characteristic that you think sticks out doesn't always mean that is the gender um, identifier. Just a quick side story on this one. So a couple years ago, there was an incident with our county fair and we had to be deposed as part of the legal situation. And I went in and the lawyer started asking me questions and he said, so how do you know that your animal was a steer? And I remember kind of stopping and like thoroughly thinking through how I was going to answer. And I looked at my dad and my dad kind of just shrugged and said, tell him. And so I said, because he doesn't have any testicles. And the lawyer like got red faced and was like, oh, yes. OK, that makes sense. But again, kind of going back to if you don't know, then that's totally fine. And I want to be able to be here to tell you what a steer is. OK, so next we're going to talk about swine or pigs. A female pig that has had a litter of piglets is a sow, and then before she has piglets, she is a gilt. A male pig is a boar. Unless he has been castrated, then he is a bara. And then baby pigs are called piglets. So next, let's talk about goats. So goats are also a species that can be split into dairy and meat. Um, however, it's pretty much the same gender names. Um, for both sides. So for a female, it's a doe. And then before they have a baby, then they can be called the doe kid or a doling, kind of depending on meat or uh, dairy. And then a male is a buck. And then if it's castrated, it's a weather. And then baby goats are called kids. For sheep, females are called ewes. And then before they have a baby, they can also be called the ewe lamb. And then males are rams, and then castrated males are weathers, and sheep have baby lambs. Okay, so poultry is another one where there's lots of different types of birds that have different purposes, but we're keeping it basic today. So a female is a hen, a young female is a pullet, a male is a rooster, a young male is a cockerel, and then babies are chicks. Turkeys are also very similar to chickens as far as their gender names. Um, the only difference is a male turkey is a tom. So that wraps up the identification of genders in livestock. And I hope you guys learned something and found the information helpful. And I will see y'all next time.